I'm Sarah Hashimaris for Smart Trend News. It's Thursday, July 29th, and this is your Middle East market wrap up. Middle East markets end mixed Thursday, though Qatar stocks advance for a third day on positive earnings news. European stocks gained, Asia was mixed, and crude futures edged up in electronic trading to influence Middle East stock trade. Qatar's QE index gained 0.2% to 7,029.45 at the close, padding its 1.9% July advance. Leading mover industries, Qatar rose 0.9%, hitting 99.9%. 8 rials, or its highest in a month, after securities and investment raised its share recommendation, Bloomberg reported. Commercial Bank was up 1.2 percent, trading at its highest point since May in a continued advance since reporting earlier this week a 23 percent jump in quarterly profit. The Egyptian Central Bank held its benchmark interest rate at a four-year low at 8.25 percent for the seventh straight meeting after core inflation was almost unchanged. Around the Persian Gulf region, Oman's MSM 30 index increased 0.5 percent, and Bahrain gauge rose 0.2 percent. The Dubai Financial Market General Index and Abu Dhabi's closed nearly unchanged and Kuwait's SE price index fell 0.2 percent. Saudi Arabia's market was closed for the weekend. In Tel Aviv, the closely followed TA25 closed down 0.2 percent while the TA100 shed 0.3 percent and the Teltec 15 lost 0.3 percent. The shekel will close its strongest month in over a year as the Bank of Israel's unexpected interest rate increased to 1.75 percent earlier this this week boosted demand for the currency relative to the dollar, still linked to ultra-low U.S. rates. I'm Sarah Hashimaris for Smart Trend News. For more on the story, you can visit our YouTube channel at Trade the Trend, or you can visit our website at TradeTheTrend.com.